Hey everybody. I was recently told that I am obsessed with perfection. It's made me wonder, are there people out there that aren't obsessed with being perfect? I mean, what, uh, what do you strive for? Being mediocre? Kind of an interesting thought. Like, like it's a bad thing that you're obsessed with perfection. I can't imagine what the alternative is. I mean, I can, but isn't there enough people out there already being mediocre? I don't know. I've just, I, I kind of wondered that. I was just kind of, I've been thinking about that, that comment a few times. I've, um, I've also been receiving some really nice comments. Um, you guys have been really, really awesome with your feedback. Um, you know, I had one today that was, uh, you know, kind of hitting, he had a good point. Um, he was kind of bashing me for a video I did um, where I explained how to install um, firmware on an Allegro Neptune 4 series printer. And I basically read the instructions. Um, and, he, and he called me click, clickbait because I did that. And he's, he, was, he had a point. Um, I had, he had a point. I took the video down um, because when I made the video, I had been, I had been helping a lot of people with that that issue, and the number one thing I kept telling people was read the instructions, and nobody would read the instructions. And the instructions are great. I mean, they're pictures and they're really well thought through, and they really I mean they help a ton. Um, that's how I figured out how to do it. I read the instructions, so I thought I'll just make a video reading the instructions because people apparently don't know how to read or decided they don't want to read um so i read the instructions and apparently that wasn't right either <laughs> i know you can't make everybody happy but um i thought that was interesting so i will make a video on doing your um firmware upgrade on the lg neptune 4 series printer um you know i'll do one where i'm not reading the instructions even though if you read your instructions, you won't have to watch a video. <clears throat> but that's neither here nor there. Um, I just received all the parts to do uh, to fix my Elegoo Neptune 4 Plus. Um, I'm not sure I know what I'm doing, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm going to make a video on that. Uh, it'll either be a good video or a bad video. The I have I'm now up to three Elegoo or sorry. Uh, three Elegoo Neptunes, four series printers, two uh, Maxes, and one Plus. Um, the Cobra, any, the Anycubic Cobra 2 Max um, is still out of commission, but they're sending me parts, which is really nice of them. So hopefully when the parts come in, I can get it working again. Uh, a buddy of mine has an Anycubic Cobra Max, uh, Cobra 2 Max as well. Um, his just caught fire, so, um, you know, public service announcement. You know, and I'm guilty of this too. I don't have a fire alarm smoke detector near my printers, um, but I do think I'm going to add one because his caught fire. The heating element, there is heating elements in these printers, and they are they can catch fire. So he had one catch fire. Uh, Any cubic sending him a bunch of parts to fix his printer. So um, so they're I mean at least they're taking care of him. So it's just a you know a good friendly reminder. Put a smoke detector near your printer just in case something happens. Um, you never know. I've, I've kind of found a couple of them that were really nice that um, also are Bluetooth, so they, they text you, which would be kind of nice to have something that actually notifies me by, by text message or by, you know, notification on my phone because I'm not always near my printers and I'm, you know, sometimes I'm, you know, not in the garage or whatever. So I think I'm going to do something like that where it's a uh, Bluetooth. Um, I'm also going to show you guys. I don't have it in front of me, I don't think. No. Um, I have, uh, I've been doing some time-lapse videos on the, any, the, the, sorry, the Chitty X Max 3s and, um, I bought an aftermarket camera, not just their camera. I have one of their cameras here somewhere. Um, uh, it stopped working on me, so I think I think I put it in a box to ship it back, but, um, I'm going to get another one of theirs and then I'm going to compare it side by side with the aftermarket. Uh, I actually do like the aftermarket camera a little better, so I'll probably do something about that video wise to kind of show you guys, you know, that camera. Um, I have tested it on a couple other printers and it does work. So if I can figure out maybe a good alternative for 
um, a camera mount. Maybe I can show you guys how to install a camera on the Anycubic or on the Elegoo. So we'll see. I'm gonna try to do something like that with it. Um, the one I have, I thought it was right here, but I don't know where it went. Um, I used magnets um, to, to attach it. So I think that might be a good way to go on most printers. We'll see. But um, I also have two Chidi Q1 Pros coming. Um, I've got them ordered. I just ordered a Creality K1 Max. I've had a few people ask me about the K1 Max and what I think of it, and I've never had a Creality product. Um, I've had a Creality knockoff, so I'm gonna order the K1 Max. Uh, they did just notify, make an announcement today that they're gonna come out with a K2 Plus. Um, the K2 Plus is going to be like 350 by 350 by 350 build volume, so I'm getting one of those. You know it. Um, so I've already messaged them asking how I can pre-order one because I would love to get on the list to get one. Um, and then I would love to put them side by side and compare them and show you guys. I really don't care about the AMS system, but I know a lot of you guys do. So maybe that's something I can get with this new printer if I can get the, the K2 um, Plus ordered. Um, I saw a couple other printers released recently. Uh, I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but there's another one coming out that I want to see if I can get, a hold, get my hands on. Um, I don't care if I've got to buy them or not. I know I'm, my, my following is not big enough for most manufacturers to give a crap. So um, I'm, if I have to buy it, I'll buy it and I'll just do a review like I do everything else. Um, but at least you know it's an honest review. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm gonna have quite a few different printers. I've cleared out a lot of room um, in my office. I've had a lot of Funko Pops. So, um, you know, if you want to check out my Macari, maybe I'll put a link in my to my Macari page. You can buy, buy up my Funko Pops. Um, I'm also on eBay. So anybody that wants to support me by buying a bunch of Funko Pops, um, I would love that. And I'm happy to do a bulk. If people wanna buy bulk, I have a lot of, I have like, seven tubs and that's not including what's on my wall so i have a lot of funko pops and i need to get i don't have the room for them and so i just need to get rid of them um and make room for printers <laughs> so so i can keep doing what i'm doing um i thought about giving them giving them away honestly i thought about doing a giveaway like once a week or something but i, I could honestly do a giveaway one every one a day and i would still have i would still be giving them away a year from now so um, I'd like to get rid of them quicker than that, <laughs> but, uh, maybe that'll inspire people to want to subscribe if I start doing giveaways, who knows, but, um, I appreciate you guys for following me. Um, you know, uh, I did receive an email recently from a, from a gentleman that watches the videos. Um, you know, never feel bad if you're messaging me or emailing me. Um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. You can email me or message me. I, I don't get you know, paid by any of these manufacturers, but I'm always willing to help if I can. Um, I'm oftentimes I'm, I'm working 24 seven on orders. Um, so if I don't get back to you right away, I'm sorry, but I, I do try to get back really quickly. Um, but I do, I, I my Etsy store, my um, 3D printing business has uh, basically become a full-time job for me. And it takes about uh, 80 hours a week of my time. <laughs> Um, or more, probably more. Um, I mean, I shipped out uh, six boxes today of orders and um, I've got one right now I'm gonna box up that's a pretty big one. But um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I worked until like 9.30 last night shipping orders out. So, I mean, and I do it as soon as I wake up in the morning, I get up and I start putting orders together. So um, it's, you know, I mean, it's a full-time job. So, um, you know, I appreciate the support. You guys have been great. Um, I'm gonna try to do some other videos. I'm trying to clear out my garage so I can maybe set up my, um, I have another grow tent that I wanna set up to make a paint booth. So I would like to get back into making props um, cause I used to actually make them. So, you know, not just 3D print, I used to actually make them make them, but um, I'll just drop. I got, I got stuff everywhere, I'm, I'm a mess. Oh, but anyway, um, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, thanks for the, the, the commentaries and the support. Uh, I'm always willing to listen if you guys have advice on how to fix something or how to work on something, or if I'm wrong in the way I describe something. You know, I'm just a, just a basic guy trying to make it in the world. So 
Um, I'm not going to give you guys a bunch of hardcore, you know, terminology. I know that's <laughs> a lot of people say I sim simplify everything um, just because I'm simple. <laughs> I am a simple man, so I simplify everything. Uh, I was educated. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if I uh, misspell something or mispronounce something or whatever, it's because I was edumacated and uh, and I don't care. So, you know, at least I can read. <laughs> Instructions. So, that is your update. This is your official Tuesday update and... Um, Again, I appreciate everybody. If you guys, uh, if you guys want to know more about something, I'll probably do a review, an official review on the, the Chidi X Max Three. Um, you know, I mentioned this in another video. I've already returned the Chidi X Plus Three, and um, I have come to realize something else that's interesting. If you guys do get a Chidi, um, uh, Quiddy Chidi, whatever you want to call them, if you get one of their printers, um, I don't want to bash support by any means, but they have specific people that. Uh, respond to different supports and um, you know I really want to give props out to the X Max 3 support people because they are on it I mean when I when I message them they message back and I can message back and we can I mean we were going back and forth quite a bit the other day um, and it it blew me away because that's not the experience I received with the X plus 3 support um, the X plus 3 support people were responding once a day and um, not if I immediately responded back, they wouldn't immediately respond back to me. Um, and we ended up going round and round for like two weeks until I finally just said, just take it. Um, so that being said, I would, with that experience, I would buy another X Max 3 just based on how good the support was with me. Um, and I wouldn't buy an X Plus 3 just because of the support. Um, you know, I'm sorry guys, don't mean to throw you under the bus, but. Um, yeah, that was that was really frustrating. Um, and any cubic was that same way. I mean, they they were uh, yesterday when they got back to me, they they took care of me in the long run. They took care of me, but it took about two weeks of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Try this, try that, try this, try that, try this. Um, often, I would say probably four of the emails I went back and forth with them were the exact same emails I had already responded to, like. You know, maybe it's a clog. Well, if it was a clog, it was a clog four times ago. You know, so if it's a clog, it's still a clog. Um, and and it, you know, and it probably is. It's probably something to do with you know the hot end clogging up constantly. But um, you know, it was just one of those things where it was like, okay, just take care of the customer. You know, I mean, you know, it's not, it seems like it's not that difficult. It's a hot end. It's clogged. Here's a new hot end. Anyway. Sorry if you've been watching this video and it's been very boring. I haven't had anything really great to show you guys. Um, I am playing around with Cura again. Uh, my Orca Slicer. I don't know if I had just had an update that just was buggy or what. But um, I tried to go... I tried to... I actually wiped out all my previous information from Orca on my computer. I literally started from scratch because I was pretty sure it was my Slicer that was causing me some headache. And um, I started over with an earlier, not a beta version, but an earlier version of Orca, and it sort of helped. But I noticed that when I when I printed the same print with Chitty using almost the exact same settings, the Chitty um, slicer, which is basically Persia slicer, which is rebranded, um, their slicer printed beautifully, where um, the Orca did not print good. And so I'm like, okay, then nothing's changed except the slicer. So if you are having difficulties with a print and it's driving you nuts, try a different slicer. Um, try a different, if you're using a USB stick or if you're not using a USB stick, if you're going directly Wi-Fi wise, um, you know, try different things with that file. You can use the same file. You can slice the same file with different slicers and just try them. Um, I just did a test print with uh, Cura and I didn't get any, um, I noticed on the print I didn't get any um, ghosting, which I've been dealing with a lot of ghosting with the Orca Slicer, and the settings are almost identical, so, you know, I have to start wondering if it's the Slicer causing some of the ghosting, 
Um, I know the ghosting went away when I switched from Orca to um, the Chitty Slicer. The ghosting went away. Uh, and I didn't do anything to the printer. So that kind of was a little suspicious. The um, I also tried uh, any cubic slicer. It's also Persia. So if you're using Chitty Slicer, if you're using uh, any cubic slicer, they're basically Persia Slicer. Um, it's just rebranded and relabeled. Um, kind of dumbed down in some cases, which is okay. I mean, it's, it's not, not a bad thing. Um, but, you know, just keep that in mind. It's uh, basically a Persia Slicer. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna play around with these different slicers and see if I can get them dialed in. I'm not, I don't know about Orca yet. I don't know if I'm, maybe I'm the only one. If I'm the only one having an issue with Orca being buggy, then I'm gonna just say it's me. Um, I do have the worst luck. I've been told that before. Um, in fact, I was told that by the person that said, uh, um, I, I obsess with perfection. So, um, I have the worst luck with 3D printing. So my bad luck has been your guys' good luck. You guys get to see how to fix everything because I have horrible luck. Um, so apparently if that's the case, if I have horrible luck and, uh, and it's just me constantly getting lemons, then, um, you know, I don't know any better. I don't. I just don't. I mean, it's like if you're if you're raised and you always think you're sick, or you're raised a certain way, and you're always sick. You're, all you're ever gonna know is what it feels like to be sick until somebody shows you a better way. Um, which was also me as a kid, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry, mom, if you're watching. <laughs> um, we just didn't know we had some stomach issues and. You know, you didn't know certain foods would cause it or certain foods wouldn't cause it. And now people know. And so now, you know, now that you know, you can do something about it. But I mean, it was like when I got glasses for the first time, it was like putting HD. I was like, oh, this is what it's like to see in high definition. I didn't know. Um, same with my slicer If I in my printers. If I, you know, if you don't know better, you don't know better. Um, and for me, I only know printers break all the time. So when people ask me my opinion, I'm often like, it, they break. Hopefully you can problem solve. Um, I have no other experience other than they break. The Chitty X Max 3s are the only ones I've had so far that haven't broken, and I've only had them for a month, so, you know, anything can work for a month. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, that's just been my luck, so I'm hoping that my bad luck helps you guys in... in um, learn and can fix things just like I'm fig figuring it out um, I know a lot of the groups I'm in and I've talked with other people about this um, there's a lot of Facebook groups and a lot of discord groups where there's a lot of um, trolls that don't want to help um, they just want to be dicks so um, if you're trolling things and you're just being a dick stay off just don't comment you know um, you don't want to help people don't help people let people like me that want to help people actually help them so um, they don't need, you know, a bunch of people that don't know what they're doing commenting. It's very simple. I mean, you know, if I was dying of a heart attack, I wouldn't want somebody to walk up and go, oh, give him a Tums, he's having indigestion. You know, so I'd rather have somebody that walks up and goes, he's having a heart attack, and here's how to fix it. Anyway, this has been a long video, and I have been talking and not really showing you anything of value other than some life experience. So hopefully you had an enjoying video watching me. Um, if you've watched me all the way through, then thank you. Um, I swear I've probably said, um, if this was a drinking video and you guys were taking shots every time I said, um, you'd be hammered. It's actually a thought. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> I'm going to try not to say, um, <laughs> and drink. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Um, I'll try to, to pipe in here with some more videos of um, fixing things. That way you guys actually are entertained versus, you know, me going... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody.